Let's take a look at how we can model some of the digital objects, the props over here. So here's a scene with all of them. So here's the camera right over here. And here's the video camera, then the phones right over here. And then there's the laptop. So let's see how we can do the laptop in this one. So let me hide all the others. And you can see the laptop is, it looks really nice, but it's a really simple object. It's just two boxes really, and they're nicely beveled. So what we could do is we could start with a simple polygon cube. And let's just say we wanted to just create a simple polygon cube. And this time, let's uh, scale it this way and also scale it sideways right around there. And something that pretty much matches Let's say right here, we have a 17 inch screen, let's say. And then I'm simply gonna go and scale this down. And what I'm gonna do after that is, I'm just gonna go and select the edges. So let's select this edge right here, all these edges. Or actually we can even select all the edges. And let's try this, let's go to Edit Mesh Bevel. And how about doing let's say a point we can try some different ones so let's say 0.25 and let's say four segments and here's a nice little button and any tool in my I like when, you, when you're not sure of everything you're doing in terms of the settings you can pretty much say apply right here it gives you a nice little preview and if you don't like it you can just right click over here in the viewport undo and try some other setting so it looks like that looked pretty decent over there. Uh, maybe I want to take it down to point three segments and maybe width at point three, and let's say apply. And there you go, that looks more like it. And you can see it nicely beveled everything for me. And pretty much after this, what I can do is I can do a cut over here and start modeling another one over there. But what in what's happening in this one is, it looks like this one, it's pretty much a duplicate. And it's not really, if you watch very closely, it's not really connecting over here. You can see right there, it's just going in. So if we can leave it that way, so I can just say Control D right now and just rotate this and just come here and just leave it over here and maybe just scale it in just a little bit right around there. And we can just leave it this way, or if we want to, we can also connect it. We can also take these two guys and combine them. And sure, if you feel that this is not rotated properly, you can always rotate it. And what I like to do is, in this case, is hold down D and C and snap the pivot, middle mouse button, snap the pivot over here, so it rotates from the bottom. Oops, I had both of them selected, so let's rotate it from the bottom right here, and then kind of push it down slightly and pretty much then select these two and say mesh combine and there you go there's our laptop slightly smaller but we can always scale it up